Hey guys, it's Megan and Liz, and it's almost time for Valentine's Day! <laughs> we are in our kitchen today. Yes, because we're gonna make some Valentine's Day goodies. So today we're gonna be making cupcakes, which Liz is going to be demonstrating, and I'm going to be showing you how to make cake pops. So first we're gonna pour the mix into a big mixing bowl. Go ahead and crack the eggs. Careful not to get any shell. That's gross. Mm. You don't want any shell. Half cup vegetable oil. Half a cup. Half a cup. It's pushing it. Pour it into the mix with the eggs. Now, Liz is gonna measure out the water. How much water? One and one fourth, one and one -fourth cups of water. Now that we have all the ingredients in, we're going to use a mixer. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not so high power, Maybe not Liz. So, maybe not so high. <laughs> all right. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Make sure you check the power level on the mixer. Okay, so now that your mix is all done, you should have a cupcake pan like so. Just nice little little papers. We got Valentine's Day themed ones. It's Valentine's Day after all, so. And if you put them in the tray, then you should be golden. All right, now it is time to put the cupcakes in the oven. Make sure you have hot mitts and be very careful because ovens are hot. When you set the timer for your cupcakes, always make sure to put it on the lowest time that it says to put it on because you can always cook your cupcakes more, but you can never take back burnt cupcakes. So be careful of that. <laughs> With the leftover cake batter we have from our cupcakes, we're gonna make cake pops. Yes. Which is a new trendy baked good. So. And they're little balls of cake that you put on a stick and they're really, really good. In order to make these, you have to have a cake pop maker, which we actually got this one at Kohl's, mm -hmm. and it's really cool. It's just a... All little individual <laughs> things for cake pops. It's really cool. You're gonna take the extra batter that you have, and you're gonna pour it in a big Ziploc bag, preferably a gallon size. Thank you. So now, you're gonna cut like move the batter back and you're gonna cut a hole in the top of the Ziploc bag. So now you can easily pour your cake batter into the cake pop. So now you're gonna close and wait four minutes precisely. So, we are going to be dyeing some frosting pink because it is Valentine's Day. And we're gonna do that by just adding a little food coloring to this uh, white vanilla frosting. All right, we are ready to frost our cupcakes. <laughs> they look so delicious. They do. I wish I was like those fancy cake, cupcake decorators, but you know, one day. This is, this is gonna have to do it for now. Aww. Happy Valentine's Day! Okay, so now it's been roughly four minutes. So we are going to check the cake pops and make sure they're done. Oh, Perfect. Yes. Normally, <laughs> you would put the cake pop on a stick and then roll it in the frosting. But you know, <laughs> sometimes baking doesn't make work it, out the way you no, want it to. No, it's like life, you know. You gotta just go with the flow. Yep. Cheers. Cheers to that. So the quote for this video is A, Megan and Liz cannot really make cake pops. Mm. And B, on Valentine's Day you don't always need a valentine, you just need a good cupcake. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Delicious. Oh, real good.